Hello chat and welcome to Strawberries Gaming Society. Tonight the topic is uh, command blocks and I'm going to create a new command lock plural to get us started here. Uh, let me just pause that for a second. Uh, get it. I'm going to create a new world. So this is command block demos two. There we go. So we, when you're working with command blocks, it has to be in creative mode. Um, and I want peaceful because I don't need any mobs right now. And I like to work on a super flat. So I'm going to change. Oops, I gotta click it to where it says super flat. There we go. I like just a basic super flat world. So and with some structures because that makes it more fun. And let's make a new world. Hello, welcome. Yeah. Oh, good. We spawned next to a little village here. So we've got some fun things to look at. And it is time to learn about command blocks. So I am fairly new to command blocks myself. I've seen other people use them, but I've done a bunch of research today on getting better at using them myself. And I thought I would share that with you because they're kind of fun. So command blocks, if you open up your inventory and search for them, you're not going to find them. So the only way that you can get a command block is by using a command. And to get that, you hit the slash key on your keyboard, and then you do slash give, and then um, you can use practically, if you're the only one in the world, you can use practically any one of these things. At A is all players, um, E is entities, P is the player who is nearest the command, R is a random player, and I don't remember what S is, but I'm just going to give it to myself. And then if I hit tab now, it will tab complete that, and then I'm hitting space, bringing it to the next thing, and I'm going to start typing C-O-M-M, -M, and now I see that Minecraft command block is highlighted, so I'm going to hit tab, that will auto complete it. And now I have given myself a command block. I'm going to go ahead and place one down. Now to make a command block activate, I'm going to need a button to go with it. So I'm also going to give myself, give, uh, sure, why not? I might as well just yeah, use the easy one. Uh, except E, I don't think that'll work, but at any rate, uh, whatever, tab, space. I'm going to give myself just the first button we find. Mm, there we go. Now I've got a button and I'd also like some redstone. Give, uh, whatever, a redstone. There we go. So now I have some redstone as well if I wanted to. Because um, later I'm going to make things kind of chain together. So yesterday, was it yesterday? No, it was two days ago. We did a little lava pool that I made by hand um, for practicing making portals like Dream. But the problem is after my lava pool got all full, I have all this lava and obsidian all over the place. And it would be nice to spend even more time practicing that. If you want to get really good at something, you have to keep practicing. So it would be nice to have a command block that would reset that lava pool and uh, another one that would give you all the stuff you need to make it happen. So the basics of a command block is I'm going to right click this command block and you can use any command that you can do in that slash command line and you can use that in a command block. So I am going to use the fill command. And what the fill command does is it fills an area. And you can think of it as a cube. And you can specify sort of from the bottom left corner of the cube to the top right far away corner of the cube. And you can do this either in automatic coordinates. And presumably, the command block is located at 164, 4, negative 215. We could uh, check that with our tab here um, uh, with F3 mode. So yes, the command block is there at 4 uh, or negative 16. Well, I'm standing at negative 165, 4, negative 216. So the command block is two blocks ahead of me. And so that's where the block is now. But it's frequently easier 
to use the block or uh, to use the coordinates in relative notation. So relative notation means you use this tilde character, which on your keyboard is typically shift and the key just to the left of the number one on your keyboard. So if I did like tilde, tilde, tilde for the X, Y, and Z coordinates, then that would be from the current location of this command block to um, like, uh, or like all three of these would be the current location of the command block. And then if I wanted to do relative coordinates for the top corner, then it would be uh, like tilde 10, tilde 10, tilde 10. And if I did that, then what it would do is uh, fill from the command block itself up through 10 blocks away with whatever um, thing I wanted to put in here. So I could put like uh, air or something. Um, oops, and I needed a space. It's telling me I had a typo there. Okay, and so I could put air, A-I-R. So I could put air there if I wanted to. But that's not quite what we want to do. What we want to do is we want a lava pool that it is one level below where the command block currently is to two levels below where the command block currently is. So we're going to have the Y coordinate. That's the up and down. The Y is going to be at negative 1 from where it is to negative 2 to where it is. And we want this lava pool, I don't want it right on top of the command block, I'd like it a little bit away from the command block. And then I'd like even more space to build portals around it, so we're going to take it from um, about 5 in the x direction. Oh, I should have checked which direction I'm facing. So this will be kitty corner to where I am, but I'm not sure exactly which direction, because I forgot to check, and I can't see the sun from where I'm at. So this will make essentially a 20 by 20 by 2. Well, right now it's going to make an air pool, but we want lava. So I'm typing L-A-V-A, L-A-V, and then I'm going to hit tab, and it'll put in the Minecraft lava. And for most purposes, both lava and Minecraft lava will do exactly the same thing. Uh, when you get into placing, doing, dealing with mods, then that makes it a little bit different, but either one is fine for now. I want this impulse, so I want it to basically happen once. Um, unconditional, it doesn't depend on whether the last time I did this worked or not. And need, needs redstone means I want it to happen when I push the button, as opposed to um, continuously or only once at the start of the command block. So I'm going to hit done there. And now if I push this button, now we have, oh good, that's the way I wanted it. We now have a nice little lava pool there for uh, building portals. But after we're finished building portals, we'd also like to have the air above it and around it cleared. So when I want to reset all that portal practice I've been doing, then I want to basically wipe the whole thing clean and um, make a uh, make it just be air above that portal for a reset. So I'm going to make a second command, and I'm going to make this one just underneath it. And I'm going to do, again, fill, oops, fill. And this time I'm going to go, I want the air bits to be filled a little bit wider than the lava pool. So if I placed extra obsidian on the outside of the lava pool, I want that to be filled too. Um, so the X and the Z, um, is there a way to not make everything lava? So using the fill command itself, then it's all got to be lava. But I will demo the uh, one of the other commands later. I believe it's called the copy command. I have to bring up my cheap cheat sheet that'll basically, if you've like built a structure that has lava and obsidian or something else in it, and then you want to copy that structure from place to place, I was planning to copy things from the town, um, then you can copy a structure from place to place. But let's see here, for this one, I'm going to do uh, fill, 
So I want it slightly bigger than our one before. So our one before was five. So I'm going to do it from three and I want it up one from where the command block currently is because this command block is down in the ground. So I want something that is positive one from where it is. It's going to be air two uh, and then I want 28 on the other side. So that, er, oh wait, so on the close side, three, three, and then on the far side, I want to go up about 10 blocks ought to be enough. And I want to go to three blocks past the far corner. So 28 and um, up about 10 blocks and 28 blocks out on the Z direction. And then I want to fill that with air. Also impulse and all that. So done. So now if I go over here and I like put some stuff out here uh, that's all around and I go over here to the far side and I'm just going to make a little tower that goes up like 12 so you can see where it ends. Oops! But if you try to place on top of a command block that's not going to work so yeah I think you guys can figure out how that'll work. I'm not actually going to demo that part because that would take too long. So we come over here and now if I push the button that should in theory, okay that guy must have been outside of our range but you can see how the ones that were closer in made it. So if I want to get rid of that guy too I'm now going to edit this and make it from Let's make this from 2-2 two, two instead, just to fill a little bit bigger spot. There we go, and make it so we can see what we want to see when we push that button. There we go, now we got rid of that one too. So that's that basic. So the fill command is really useful for if you're making a uh, survival world and or a, if you're making a practice world and you just want to keep resetting things again and again, or um, if you're making like a big structure or something, you can just do that slash fill command in your command line. But if you want to keep doing it again and again, it's nice to have it in a command block. So the other command that I'd like to use is I would like to, uh, let's make, gonna make some redstone going down here. I would also like to give myself a certain number of things to practice making those portals. So I'm going to, instead of using the fill command, I'm going to use the slash give command. And I would like to give it to the player that executed the command. So I'm going to use uh, at P. And then I would like to give the player a water bucket. So I'm going to type W-A-T and tab to give myself a water bucket and put that there and this redstone is going to need to go into that block and I am not the world's greatest at redstone so I will have to experiment a little bit with making this work but I think oh there we go yeah actually that would not one of these redstone there we go oh didn't work okay so let's just take this oh well that, that'll work if I put that down. No, it needs to go in. Let me just give myself some dirt. Give a strawberry some dirt. Okay, let's fix that up because I don't like how that looks. Okay, so let's just take our redstone and we are going to go boom, boom, boom there and get rid of that. Really? Okay. Let's do it this way. Do, do, nope. Okay, do it that way. All right, there we go. Now it is going into the command block like we wanted. So now if I push that button, it should give me a water bucket. Excellent. So the other thing that I would like to have is some blocks. So we're going to do again slash give uh, at P and um, 
We are going to give me, uh, let's see here, what do I want? How about cobblestone? Oops. Okay, I don't, I don't need that. I just want at P cobblestone. There we go. And then you can give a, uh, some of these take arguments. So I don't want just one piece of start cobblestone. I would like an entire stack of cobblestone. And you can see there, it is an optional argument. The square brackets mean it's optional, but if you put something in square brackets, it needs to be a number and that number is a count of them. So there we go. So I'm gonna give myself 64 cobblestone and then I would also like to give myself, uh, give the player, um, let's see here, what else do you need? You need a water bucket and you need some cobblestone and you need a pick. And because this is practicing, we're just gonna take that diamond pickaxe. And this time I used my mouse to select it. There's several different ways to select that. So if we do this and then let's see here. So to power this thing, I think, why is the redstone in my offhand? That's really weird. Uh, there we go. Okay, so then to power this thing, I think, can I just do that? No, I'm not sure how this will work. So as you can tell, I am clearly learning, but Instead of trying to present myself as knowing everything, I am presenting myself as a person who learns new things. So let's see how this works. Yeah, that doesn't work because it doesn't go into the blocks. So let's try it. Oops. Uh, done. What if I hit shift and go across and atop the blocks? Will that power it? Let's try that. Ha ha, that works, that gives me the stuff. Okay, so now we have a way to res reset this and make that work. And now I'm going to set my game mode to survival. So that's again, slash, and then just game mode survival. And now I can make portal here. Like, oh, I'm gonna need flint and steel. Let's give myself flint and steel before I do this. We need to add one more thing. And you can also do it with wood. I've watched the I've watched the YouTubers do it with wood too, and that is impressive and dangerous. Um, but I suppose I could do both. So, oh, you cannot place a command block when you're in survival mode. I was like, why isn't this placing? You need to go back to creative. Okay. There we go, there, and let us give myself, give the player a flint, flint. Oh wait, that just a flint is not enough. I need a flint. I hit the down arrow there and a tab to make it a flint and steel. What's, oh wait, done, uh, shift. Lay redstone across the top of that and let's see what happens. There we go. Do I now have a flint and steel? I now have a flint and steel. Okay. So this will now reset that. Give all my stuff to me. Let's, oh yeah, and that cobble I placed earlier is now gone. Oops, get out of the lava, no. I failed to properly hold shift. Here we go. It's portal, portal time. There we go, that. Switch to the pickaxe. Build next to, one, two, up three. Ah, I missed. Oh, I'm still in creative mode, no wonder. Uh, let's see here, game mode, uh, survival. Nope, not the spectator. Survival, there we go. Okay. Come on, stop, there we go. Next, make our seven, place two, hit the water there, and 
bucket. One, two, one, two, one, and move so you don't put lava on top of yourself. Crouch, pick up the water. Come on, pick up the water. There we go. Pick up the water and that is really weird. Uh, oh, there's one there. Okay, I got to put the water back um, so that we can have lava there. Now pick up the water and flint and steel. Dream does this way faster. Why is the water still there? That's very weird. Um, dump that water over there. Pick that water up. Oh, come on. I didn't dump the water far enough away. There, dump that. Pick that up. There we go. No more water and flint and steel. Yay, we did it. Okay, now we're gonna clear all of that like that. So clearly I need practice with this and that's why I'm making this little practice world. Now, I think what I might like to do is change this so that we don't have these two things connected to one another. And I'd also like to put this button over on the other side um, because I want it closer to where I'm actually doing stuff. And I don't need to give myself all the stuff every single time. I only need to give myself the stuff when uh, I run out of cobblestone, basically, or otherwise somehow burn up myself. Uh, Cause that's the thing that happens from time to time when you're me. So that is the very, very basics on how command locks work. Are there any questions about that part? And then I was going to bring up the, um, so there's other commands that you can place in command blocks. And uh, let's see here. Okay, so let me get my list up. I had a list and I lost it because I wound up needing to reboot my computer right before this. And so I failed to uh, write everything, or I failed to save it, so I have to find it again. Or, you know what? We could just stop here and go back into um, our regular world and mine for more. Um, I kind of want to find, I want to get another right chest plate. And so I kind of want to mine for more ancient debris. And why don't we do that? And so that I can better study the copying structures command and give you guys a good uh, demo on how to do that tomorrow, as opposed to a, gee, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, so let's figure it out as we go along demo. Now that sort of thing is good from time to time to watch people learning things, because not everybody knows everything. And that's a good example. I try to be a good example for my kids at home and show lifelong learning, but at the same time, I also realize that I'm an entertainer here, so I'd like to be entertaining too. And the realm is fun. Yes, the castle. Oh my goodness. My daughter had a day off of school today and the castle now has, Castle Drachenberg, now has a complete purr -pur floor across the whole thing. And it is really amazing. And yet, according to my daughter, she could still use more blackstone. Okay, we are not connecting to the realm. I wonder what the problem is here. Let's try this again. Connecting. Hmm. My internet is clearly working. So I have no idea why this is not connecting. Let's see. It appears that the realms are working. Uh, 
try again, I suppose. Or we could do the survival world. I started the other night, uh, the evening that we were working on the depression uh, stream, then we started a new survival world because the realm just kept crashing and we couldn't get into it. Okay, yes, this is not working. So let's go back and let's look at single player options. So this is, this is the world that we started on the day that we were working on the depression stream. So uh, we have, and we couldn't get into the realm anymore. Uh, so we have, let me just show you guys around because I don't think either of you currently watching was here that evening. Uh, so we, there's some chickens in our house and we found a small amount of wheat and we started with that and we are basically farming from there. So, uh, let's get, where'd the hoe go? Okay. I have no idea what happened to the hoe and I guess that wheat wasn't all the way ready to harvest yet because it didn't drop any wheat. Darn. Just have to restart that. Okay, we'll have to wait until that is going. I should really recognize what fully sowed wheat is, looks like, but I didn't. Oh, what have we got here? Hi, Mr. Spider. Please don't kill me. There we go. Yes, this is clearly a very, very early world. So um, what we've done so far is just gather a little bit of wood and uh, here we go. Inside here, we have two chickens that are eagerly awaiting for that wheat to grow up. Oh, and looks like they're producing eggs. So this is our very early survival world. And we've got a sugar cane here that one day we're going to need. So let's start planting that now that it's daytime. Earlier, we went off uh, into the mines when it got to be nighttime. And we don't have any food. We are waiting for the chickens to grow. So let's see here. Let's plan for if it is daytime now and we've used up the axe. So let us make, uh, okay. So we need some more cobblestone. I thought I had more cobblestone than that. Here we go. Okay. Wait, did I just lose a chicken? Hold on. Where'd the other chicken go? I need that chicken. Okay. So this clearly needs to be reworked. Okay, let's give ourselves an ax to begin with. Uh, and once we have an ax, we need to redo the roof. Um, okay, oh wait, we want stone. So we have a stone pickaxe. Um, and there we go. Now let's get a stone ax. And so stone axe, stone pickaxe, and while we're at it, we might as well make a stone shovel and a stone sword. Oops, how did I do that? Okay, there we go. One stone sword is all we need. Okay, and then these other things are all going to go, all of our wood tools are going to go back in the box. And now let's redesign the house while it's still daylight so that it's easier to get out and the chickens can't get out. go. Take that door, move the door sideways, put the dirt blocks back. Hey 
cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Oh, I need a seed to get you to go where I want. Hey, cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. You want to come in here? Not yet. Okay, let's get another seed and then we'll get you to follow me. I have the eggs. Where are the seeds? And then after we get another seed, we can plant another seed and exponential growth will take over. Oh, come on, really? If I had bone meal, I'd make some of the stuff grow. I don't think I've killed any skeletons yet. Although, you know what? Food is good. Let's get some berries. Ah, there we go. Here's a seed. All right, now let's capture that chicken and put it back in our house because we let it escape earlier because I'd forgotten that I'd placed the block so that I could actually get out. Okay, chicky. Okay, you are still in there. Come here, come here. A little farther. There you go. Good chicky, chicky, chicky. So funny, in my other world, I have way more seeds and chickens than I could possibly know what to do with, but in this world, I'm still right back at the very beginning. And I need a hoe to make a little bit bigger of a plot here. Uh, let's make a stone hoe. Alrighty. And then we can plant. Um, let's make these over here. Excellent. Okay. I don't want to harvest this too early by accident again. It looks full, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm just going to leave that a little bit longer. Alright, and while it's daytime, I'm going to get more wood for use indoors later. And once it becomes night, we will head back down into the dungeon. Start looking for some iron. Oh, my mouse has decided to stop working. There we go. Yeah, Bluetooth and Mac OS, whatever this is, Mac OS 11, Big Sur, do not seem to get along very well. Every once in a while, it'll just sort of suddenly stop paying attention to the mouse or the keyboard, which is not very good from a game player perspective. So I'm considering just buying myself a wired mouse, but the problem is, I don't really like wired mice because then I can't move my mouse around and I've got wires on my desk and all that, but I may just bite the bullet and do that. And then of course I need to find a port to plug it into and all those issues. So, uh, let's see here. What else is exciting that is going on? This morning I caught Dream, um, uh, Petro is there too. Uh, I caught Dream just as he was starting his live stream and that was really exciting for me. And I was going to send a donation and I thought that I had sent the donation, but apparently I didn't click confirm on the PayPal screen. So it ended up not getting sent. And then once I realized that it hadn't been sent, he'd been streaming for long enough that it's like, eh, he's not going to get a chance to read it anyway. It's probably not worth it. Okay, let's get out of the water. Why do I even have that sand? Okay. There we go. And I think if I have... Uh, I could make a fishing rod. Oh, and let's put this egg in here just in case it spawns. So funny, in my regular world, eggs are such a nuisance, but 
when you're just starting out, it's like every egg could be a chicken. Ho oh, ho ho, pro gamer there. I just made a jump. Aren't you proud of me and my little dirt house? Okay. One, two, there we go. And I still don't have much food. And there's nothing easily visible. Oh, except the berries. I can eat berries. Don't forget the berries. Yeah, yeah, Bluetooth on the Mac. I'm not really sure what's wrong with it. But basically, before I start a stream, every night, right around 12.15 or so, I go through this whole ritual of closing every tab on my computer, rebooting the computer, and then I have a little post-it note that has the exact se startup sequence of what I need to do in order to uh, make it um, in order to make it, uh, uh, see if I do this, I can get just the berries without getting rid of the bush. Um, but I, I have an exact startup sequence of everything I need to do to make sure that it works. It's like, uh, power off on, log in, headphones on, preferences sound, pick the right sound thing that I need to pick in order to make streaming happen. Um, then I open up the Streamlabs app, I open up Minecraft, I connect those, and then I open up Chrome. And uh, it's, it's just insane, the procedure I have to go to. But if I don't follow that procedure, then I wind up with uh, my audio just doesn't work. And I accidentally tonight I have another post-it note that has like, my uh, list of things I need to do before every stream that's like uh, mic on, water full, snack eaten, headphones charged, and I realized that my water wasn't full, so I went to go ch uh, get my get more water, and I realized that uh, my... I, I turned off my headphones to go get more water, and that was a mistake turning off the headphones. Okay, now where did my little house area go? There it is. Oh, Dream stopped streaming right as you woke up. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, mostly all he did was just read donations. Pretty much that was it. Uh, so in some sense, you didn't miss much unless one of your friends was sending you a birthday wish. <laughs> there are so many birthday wishes and everything. Uh, he did announce that he wants to do a PvP tournament, or not a PvP tournament, a speedrunning tournament. And he wants to, uh, he said he was willing to spend like $50,000 um, getting a speedrunning tournament going. So that was really interesting. Hello, Action Ma'am! Welcome, welcome! So, this evening I've already finished the uh, command block section, and right now, I and then I tried to connect to our regular SMP world, and Minecraft Realms was just having none of it. So, this is the uh, survival world that I started uh, the evening that we did the depression stream, and... So here it is, and I am, so in some sense, I am, quote, speed running this, except I am not speed running this. I am slow running this because when I go to the nether, as you know from my SMP streams, if I go to the nether in anything less than fully enchanted diamond armor, I get killed uh, frequently. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, there are so many Valentine's Day birthdays. That is true or people who are born near Valentine's Day, but still, I mean, Dream doesn't stream every day, so if you wanna tell your friend happy birthday, you gotta do it when he's streaming. Yeah, and today, my, my daughter actually would like me to announce, today is her fish's 12th birthday, so happy birthday to Hermie. Yes, we have two fish. There are, uh, my daughter has her me and my son has his me. Uh, those are the fish in our household. Oh, and I have another egg. And at the beginning of a survival world, every egg is precious. So let me 
we go send this back back up to the top later on eggs are like you and they clear clog your inventory but early on every egg matters okay oops there we go so, uh, throw the egg nope no new baby chickens one day guys one day uh, we'll get you a baby chicken and I don't actually need to take this sand and this other stuff down into the basement <laughs> yeah yeah the last time that I tried uh, slow running and basically just start to finish can I get to the ender dragon I literally like I spawned in this great place and I collected all this food on the first day and I was feeling so proud of myself and I started to dig in at the end at the start of the first night and uh, more eggs uh, and I started to dig in at the end of the first night and then a skeleton killed me and I spent literally the next hour being continuously killed Minecraft day and Minecraft night yeah yeah happy birthday to the fish 12 years old is really old for a goldfish um, when the kids were little then we got them fish and the first couple of fish our family got did not survive so long and after a while we stopped um telling the children every single time one of the fish died these were just the little 50 cent feeder fish but eventually we got better at oh, why did i do that i don't want to waste that log oh well eventually we got better at um knowing the things to do to in order to keep the fish alive also we bought like eight feeder fish and the ones that we uh, the ones that are alive now were definitely the sturdiest of those there were three that lived a considerable amount of time and then one of them died when was that two or three years ago it didn't quite make it to 10 years old but uh but it died not too long ago uh, but now we still have two so my daughter's got one and my son's got one and I am just taking the safe route down here because I don't want to die um, let's see here if I do this why don't I place it oh I am out of torches let's make some more torches I always get teased for how many torches I make, but uh, I like things to be well lit. Okay, there we go. So take that away, put the torch on the wall, and let's dig down. Oops. Uh, yeah, early on, then it matters. Uh, how you keep your tools uh, like you don't want to use your tools too much so that you keep that going okay and I actually would prefer to be able to see where I'm going here so I'm gonna so now I'm of course wasting tool uh, integrity while I dig out but I like to be able to see where I'm going. Okay. We're just going to keep going down. And looking for uh, other things. Oh, your fish got to Pleco fish that ate algae like five years ago and he was so cool but he got too big for the tank and you had to give him away to your aunt ah yeah I don't know how big fish get I always thought that fish only got as big as their tanks would let them get but maybe it depends on the type of fish we just have little feeder goldfish and I really don't know anything about any kind of fish other than that. Okay, is this a full lava pool? It is. If I were a speedrunner, I would think this is great news. But seeing as I am not a speedrunner, and I have 
no iron even for a bucket. This is not such great news. Is there no iron in this cave? What's my why? Okay, so I'm down at the place where I might find diamonds one day, but I actually need iron first. I can hope to find diamonds one day. Oh, wow, that is a big fish. Yeah, I can see why you'd need to find somebody with a bigger tank than that. Okay. All right, crafting table. Let's, oh, I can't put that. Where do I want to put this? Um, someplace out of the way. Okay, crafting table. Let us get, oh wait, not those, these. Two, two. Let's make a bunch of stone pickaxes because we are going to go through these like nobody's business. Alrighty. Stone pickaxes, we. And I am just going to try to get. Oops. Huh, I guess it's only one deep right here. Uh, shovel. I don't want that in the way. Okay, and might as well. I don't really need to be holding gravel. There we go. And let us now collect some coal. Because I am definitely at the state of the game where it is nice to have just about any resource you can get. Okay, come on. There we go. Safely collect coal. <laughs> yeah, whenever I say safely like that, it reminds me of, I don't know, most of you guys probably weren't even born when this show came out, but there's a uh, movie called The Truman Show, and the basic pre uh, premise of the movie is that a corporation legally adopted a baby boy and they pretty much, Truman himself was authentic, but the entire world that he lived in was fake and created by a movie corporation. And they essentially created it with actors and actresses a 1950s style life for this baby boy named Truman. And every time he would get in the car and turn on the radio, then it would say, you are driving very safely, calmly and safely, driving at a safe speed. <laughs> <laughs> because their actors didn't want him being a, you know, ah, whew, I almost, my shift, I accidentally let my finger get off shift and I almost killed myself there. With all this stuff. Um, actually, I think I have, did I set keep inventory true? I think I set keep inventory true, so I might have been okay. But still, um, yeah. Yeah, our goldfish are now up to probably, I'd say, five inches across. They're in a 10-gallon tank. Each Like, each fish has its own tank. Uh, they're in a 10-gallon tank right now. Oh, there's redstone if I'd wanted that, but I still haven't found iron yet. I need to find a place where I can just sort of run along. This is not that place. So maybe someday I will explore more over here, but for now, uh, let's put some blocks down and let's go somewhere else. Oops, that was not where I meant to place that, but it'll do. Ah, iron! I just went in the wrong direction. Yes, we were talking about goldfish. My daughter's goldfish turned 12 today. Well, I mean, my son's goldfish did too. We got them at the same time, but uh, she was significantly more invested in the fish birthday than he was. Okay, let's safely get this iron. And because we are so close to lava and this is the only iron I have, I am going to be 
extra safe about getting it and make sure that everything is legit with it. Because I do not want it to plop down into lava by accident. And I know it's probably safe, but just in case. There we go. See, that, la that one is almost certainly not safe. We are going to want to... Okay, dig that, and then dig this, and then how can I safely do this? Um, <laughs> let's see here. Well, if I dig that, okay, that is safe. Okay, there we go. So now we know there's a block behind it that direction. Let's look and see. And there's a block behind it that direction, so we can safely get this. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, 12 years is a long time for a goldfish. But these are very hardy goldfish. At the time we bought them, I think we bought eight. And there are, these are the, the last two that are still alive. Most of them, of the eight, most of them didn't survive past, you know, three months. But three of them did and three of them lived for like eight years nine years something like that let me think my son was an eighth grader when the last one died um here we go oh and i need to make sure that i remember my way back home so this my symbol to myself about the way back home is two torches in a row and that means go home this way I think I'm also just going to put a torch on the wall to make it even more obvious, like that. Yeah, six or seven years, even that is a long time for a fish. All right, let's see what we can see. Looks like there's a cave. Is this another cave? No, that's just more lava. Okay, I hear things. Oh, I hear the creepy crawlies. Okay. Here we go. Let's go this way and explore this cave a bit. <gasps> More iron! Yes! Oh, that's so sad. I'll bet your dad felt really bad about that. <gasps> Diamonds! Ooh, ooh, I have music. Let's see here. Uh, I got the diamond music. Oh, uh, where is it? Uh, I know I have this music. Uh, where's the search function? Um, no, I do not want to search the iTunes store. I want to search my library, please. Come on. Uh, well, clearly this is a technique I need to get better at for, uh, for streaming, is I need some sort of hotkey to play Jingle Bells music. Because I know I downloaded it, but I don't see it. And uh, see, I don't want to search the iTunes store. I want to search my library. There we go. Aha! Found it. There we go. There we go, all right. Woohoo! But in order to use this, we have to do a bunch of crafting. What? How did that happen? Okay.
Ho ho, this is a huge vein of diamonds. Let's turn that music down, but hey, let's have some music. So this is my playlist of all of Dream's music. <laughs> that is a lot of diamonds. Woohoo! Now what am I going to use them for? I have six. Hmm. Diamond pickaxe seems like the best thing because then I can move obsidian around but diamond protection is always really good too like it would be awfully nice to have a diamond axe right about now oh come on don't die there we go eat 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 uh blocks. Put blocks in the hot bar. Okay, more iron. Yes. Excellent. We can start getting some more protection. So right now I am totally vulnerable. see here. Save the wear and tear on the iron pick for actual iron. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, block. There we go. Oh, huh. I have no idea if there... I mean, usually most streamers that I watch, then down in the right-hand corner then there's an option, like there's a gear thing and an option to, you know, switch it to lower quality. So I have no idea if that gear does not exist for you. I do not know why that gear does not exist for you. that coming from? I think I'm gonna have to go around until I am more healthy. I don't want to. Okay. The music definitely adds more intensity to this though, definitely. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea why it doesn't have the option to make it lower quality. Um, that is presumably a Twitch question. Uh, well, we have a nice cave here. Okay. And two torches to mean that that way is the path home. Let's stop off. Where exactly is this lava coming from? There, I think. Yes. That has stopped up the lava. Okay. Good thing I have a lot of berries. And my wheat is almost certainly better by now. And. May as well collect some redstone. Can make some automated stuff later. Okay. Let's just keep exploring while we've still got the stuff to do it. Although, let me think here. What I really want is a chest plate, and I need eight diamonds for a chest plate. So I think I'm gonna hang on to these just a little longer until I get two more. Because chest plate is the best protection. 
but I have nine iron ore, so I could get an iron chest plate. So that I think I will do. So that I've got at least some protection. <laughs> yeah, I do tend to play everything safe. That's just me, I suppose. Uh, oops. Okay, put half of them in here and put half of them in the other one. Yeah, I don't tend to like dying. I think I have Keep Inventory True on, so it probably wouldn't be that bad if I died, but just in case I don't, um, then it is, uh, it's good to be on the safe side. Yeah, I would be, well, I say it would be a horrible speedrun. I kind of want to be able to do it. Like, I want to be able to beat the game in less than, say, two hours. But in order to do that, I need to get better at killing the mobs. Or rather, I need to get better at avoiding the mobs. Like, if you watch the speedrunners, they frequently don't get their first kill till after they're in the nether, if that... Well, yeah, they definitely get a kill in the nether, but frequently their first kill ever is a blaze. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh. Oh no. Ah, uh, run. I think that water will keep him away. Oh wait. This is not back where I came. There's more coal here. Oh. Ah, and more iron. And then this goes around in a circle, it looks like. Okay, well, let's snag this iron. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to snag this iron and then go back to where my furnaces are, place this in the furnace, and then call it a night. So that it was a really, oh my goodness, this vein of iron just keeps going and going. And coal. Nice. This just keeps going and going and going. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have never beaten the game without cheating either. Uh, uh, but one of these days I'd like to. So this is my... This is my stream, or this is my world for trying to do that. And I'm doing this world entirely on stream. There is not going to be any off stream part of this world for you guys. So it's not going to be like a huge build world or anything. <laughs> yeah, I have done it with my kids before. Like we've done it as a family. But I've never done it just me alone. So yeah, in the SMP world that I'm playing with my daughter, then, um, oops, this is not the right way because I did not go through any water to get home or to get here. Um, in the SMP world that I'm playing with my daughter, then we killed the dragon and uh, we did it together. She did like 99% of the work and then I got the very last hit on the dragon. <laughs> so in, in that world, it'll show that I've got a dragon kill, but it really wasn't me. She did almost all of it. I died like five times, but, uh, but I got the last hit. <laughs> You overprepared when you did the dragon? Yeah, well, there's overprepared and then there's uh, successful. <laughs> All right, let's make some iron armor. It is time. And then we will end stream. Okay, and that's all the... Oh, no, I have... Wait, where's that iron ore? There we go. 
put half here and we'll put half there. Oops, come on. Ah, there we go. Half there. And I have plenty of coal to do that and start the coal there. There we go. So let me, oops, let me do it this way. We look at me, I'm not wearing anything yet. Haha, -ha, now I look better. Okay, so I want to say good night stream and I will hopefully see you all tomorrow. Is there a, if anybody has any topics they would like me to cover, mom stuff you want to know about from cooking to finance to Minecraft, then definitely either give me a private message or type it in the chat or whatever, because I'd like to do topics that you guys are interested in. Um, and good night. And I am going to, I suppose I should check and make sure he is on, but uh, let's raid Nerdy because I really like watching his streams. 